The international auto show season is in full swing, and our first stop is Germany for the biannual Frankfurt Motor Show. Fascination Auto aptly describes the biannual Frankfurt Motor Show with its 10 giant halls filled to the brim with the latest in motorized hardware. Germany's largest automaker, Volkswagen, got things off to a racy start with a bold concept, the Audi Le Mans Quattro. Built with the help from another VW division, Lamborghini, the Le Mans is a clear view of future Audi Coupe styling. But we actually prefer this mid-engine Volkswagen Concept R sports car. Word is this two-seater with a price of about $30,000 could be in showrooms in three years. Concept R uses parts from the all-new fifth-generation Golf. Too bad we won't get these sleeker three- and five-door hatchbacks in the U.S. for at least a year. BMW had so much to show at Frankfurt that they built their own building. Space for not only the X3, a smaller sports activity companion to the popular X5 luxury utility, but also for the return of the big BMW coupe, this muscular V8-powered 6 Series. What Daimler Chrysler shows in Frankfurt has a big effect on the American luxury car markets. So pay attention to the Mercedes-Benz Vision CLS. More a four-door coupe than sedan, this ultra-sleek concept borrows mechanicals from the E-Class and could arrive here with a powerful turbo diesel option. After all, Mercedes concepts have a way of making it to production almost intact. Case in point, the long nose SLR. This 200 mile per hour supercar was co-developed with Formula One builder McLaren to celebrate Mercedes racing heritage. But this company can also make a big statement in small cars. The new Smart 4-4 not only has four doors, but it could be the basis for a small US bound utility. While the Chrysler Group showed it was serious about European sales with this Hemi V8-powered 300C Touring. While made here, it will only be sold over there. Ford's global brands commanded a lot of attention in Frankfurt, beginning with the unveiling of the ultra-exclusive Aston Martin DB9. Land Rover showed a makeover of the compact Freelander SUV, while the compact Mazda 3 showed aggressive appeal. And that its basic structure is strong and safe enough for the all-new Volvo S40 and V40. Jaguar added structure to the X-Type to produce the brand's first station wagon. But it was this five-door RD6 concept that gave hints of even bigger risk coming for Jaguar. Other notable introductions at Frankfurt included a larger Subaru Legacy and Outback with a new 245 horsepower 6. Toyota bowed a 2 plus 2 hybrid concept, the CSNS. Saab showed this soon to be made 93 sport hatch concept. And at Nissan, a seven passenger Dunehawk SUV. While Opel's impressive rear drive insignia concept took the stage alongside a new version of its best selling Astra. Two of the many continental treats at the 2003 Frankfurt Motor Show.